A bittersweet celebration happening today in Socorro as the district considers moving students away from a historic school. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this special edition of KTSM 9 News Weekends at the Preakness. I'm Oriana Botaro. The Escondrias STEM Academy celebrated its 100th year anniversary. Students, parents, and alumni gathered for the celebration, but the event was overshadowed by the proposal by talks involving the district's multi-million dollar budget shortfall. Our KTSM 9 News reporter Jesus Baltazar was at the event, and he tells us more. It has been a day of mixed emotions here at the Escontria Steam Academy down in Socorro. On the one hand, it has been a 100-year celebration of the birthplace of the Socorro Independent School District. On the other, parents have taken the opportunity to voice their concerns as the future of the school remains uncertain. At a board meeting this past Tuesday, the Socorro Independent School District clarified that they have discussed the possibility of relocating students from the Escontrias Early Childhood Center in the historic building across to the main building that houses second through fifth grade students, but not necessarily close the campus. This to help the district address its multi-million dollar deficit to get back on track. Uh, the highlight of the school, a lot of parents like myself placed my child in the school because it was a special inclusive pre-K program. And as a parent, we're losing that because this is one of the few campuses in the district that has a separation. Munoz and other parents have started a petition which is nearing its goal of 1,000 signatures to prevent the relocation of Escontria's early childhood center. Speaking with the president of the Socorro ISD Board of Trustees, Michael Najera, he said he wants to reassure parents that Escontrias is going nowhere, adding that the relocation efforts have only been listed as a possibility. Tonight at 9, you'll hear from Najera, as well as alumni from Escontrias and leaders from the city of Socorro speaking on the significance of the school to the community of Socorro. Munoz also said there will be a special meeting this upcoming Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. here at the school with Escondria's principal, and she encourages other parents to join them in their efforts to voice their concerns. Reporting from Socorro, Jesus Baltazar, KTSM 9 News.